I made a video recently called Rome 2 is a terrible game and that video showed with a repeatable experiment that gives consistent results in circumstances that should be very decisive and favourable for the player that you can't really get anywhere in that game. So you employ sound tactics in a really controlled manner and don't get success and there's a lot of good explanations for why that will always happen and I actually invited people to speculate on what those are in the comments section of that video and some people did but quite surprisingly and really disappointingly a lot of people took that invitation to explain the failures of the game as an opportunity to make excuses for it instead so I had all kinds of excuses there. I might even overlay the screen with some of them right now. People would say I didn't get my charges off fast enough. They would say that Praetorians are an elite unit, so they should just never route when they get charged in the back and completely enveloped and flanked and outnumbered, outmatched. All this kind of stuff. But people say these things not realising that I still have the game. <laughs> I've still got it. And I can just construct a new test that completely nulls and voids the objections, makes the test even more embarrassing and just do it again. So I can, instead of bringing Praetorians, which is probably the most common excuse that was offered, oh you brought Praetorians, of course they're not going to rout, of course they're going to destroy you in the melee, I can just bring a mediocre unit instead. Because guess what? There's nothing fucking special about Praetorians. They're just the best unit and the most extreme example of how bad Rome 2 is. That even when they have very few units and you have all of this space and room and freedom, there's nothing you can do with it. But I'll oblige. I'll bring legionary cohorts or something and just do the whole fucking thing again and show you that bringing elite units doesn't make a damn difference. Praetorians were not required. It's weird that people are willing to speculate like this and just type out these comments not realising that I can easily just make another video and show that those comments are just entirely spurious. It's embarrassing and it's important that it happens because I think it proves an even more important point which is that fanboys will do and say anything they can to defend shit games because they have a weird attachment to them that compromises them consistently. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to I'm going to expose that compromise compromised state again. So let's construct a new test and let's title this video with something else as a sequel to that video like Rome 2 is a failed RTT game, real-time tactics game. Cuz this is not an RTS. This is an RTT supported by TBS elements, turn-based strategy elements. Alright, so let's go on with this. Let's make a new test. Let's upgrade this test to make it idiot-proof and see what the new batch of bullshit excuses is going to look like. So here we go. We're not allowed to bring Praetorians because that was the main excuse. So let's bring a mediocre unit instead of an elite one and we can try and shake out some new excuses that will be more interesting and more creative. Alright, so we're gonna go with... Alright, where's a middle of the line unit? Legionary cohorts, alright. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give them a dumb spam of legionary cohorts and a general. There we go. And a unit Hastati, there we go. So they've got mediocre units. Legionary cohorts are, are just over half the cost of Praetorian Guard. So let's see how this goes. And something else people complained about was gladiators. People would say, oh, gladiators are a shit unit. Oh, gladiators are not a, a good offensive unit. So do you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring fucking cavalry instead this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that, a lot of cavalry. A lot of cavalry. Equities. There we go. We're going to bring loads of fucking equities and a general. And not many people objected to Socii. Everyone seemed above complaining about the Socii, like they didn't stoop that low, so we're gonna just bring them again and see if people will start complaining about them, and then we might have to change that. 
And then we're gonna give them... Armored Legionnaires. Armored Legionnaires. Alright, so we're gonna bring... Wait a minute. Three units of Sosei again, and two Armored Legionnaires. There we go, so we have... Highly defensive infantry as the anvil again. No one can object to this. This is solid. And then we've got cavalry as the hammer this time. And we'll see how this goes. And let's, do you know what? We're going to upgrade these. No, that's too expensive, right? We're going to upgrade these. Perfect. So, so we've got slightly improved armored legionnaires. There we go. So we have a solid anvil that no one wants to complain about for some reason. And we have cavalry now as the hammer. And we're going to be attacking a dumb blob of legionary cohorts. So these are not elite infantry. So are they going to break this time? Are they going to break this time? On very hard again? Let's see. This is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be playing the game on very hard and trying to do tactics. And is it going to work? Let's see. Hang on. Six equities, two groups of three, one on each flank. Enveloping the fuck out of legionary cohorts. Very much not elite infantry. And we're going to have a solid anvil of socii's and armored legionnaires. I'm up for this. Let's do this. Let's see if it works this time. So I've now modified the test to completely invalidate all of the bitching that was going on. So let's see what happens. Gonna stretch them out into a lane again. Gonna lock it. And guard mode, and then the groups of cavalry, one on the left, one on the right, general behind. Are they going to come to us, or are they the attacker? Did I forget to do that? I thought I forgot something. Alright, let's take the fight to them then. Let's take the fight to them, because we're attacking. Gonna walk my way there, walk my way up there. General behind. Cavalry's gonna arrive first. Look at how slow we're going. And this is another thing that I've been looking at recently. These units are all so identical. It's so hard to tell these apart. It's just a stat difference and a different model. But all of the Roman infantry all have 160 men. They all have the same space and they all have the same level of training. They're so homogenous compared to Rome Total War. It's quite shocking. And it actually does account for some of why I've always thought that all of these units are just so samey and dull and have no personality. Alright, we're about to kick off. So I'm going to stand right in front of them and I'm going to take their Pila so let's go, we're gonna get ready now. Let's be aggressive, proactive, see if it works. Oh yeah, another thing, people bitched about the the charge, saying I didn't get my charge off as if it would make a difference, so we're gonna do that. Let's get the charge off, and let's get around and charge immediately. Let's start charging immediately. Alright, we're getting our charges off. And let's go around, see if we can get away with this. So there's a solid charge going off already on both sides. So was I late this time? I don't think I can be accused of being late. But we need to keep these charges going so no one can say we didn't use the cavalry well. So any chance we get, I'm going to be charging into them. Yeah, we have good charge opportunity there. Get the general close as well. Look at that perfect envelopment. How many kills do we have? None. Zero kills. Zero fucking kills. There we go. That's Rome 2 in a fucking nutshell right there. That is Rome 2. That is the game that I have always just had discussed for. Two charges and we have three kills. Three fucking kills. Fucking three kills. Yeah, Rome 2. Yeah, it was my fault for not charging early enough. It was because they had elite units, yeah. Three kills against fucking legionaries, as opposed to Praetorians, yeah, okay. Make a, make a new excuse for this game being so shit. Make a new excuse for fucking rear cavalry charges getting... How many kills is that for that charge? One additional kill. 
Yeah, fuck this game. This game is fucking embarrassing. Holy shit. Why the fuck was I excited for this? It's even fucking worse than I thought it would be. Hastati broke at 50 men, so we had a unit of armored legionnaires that were up against Hastati and they actually won. Alright, let's get more charges. Oh, look at that, we're breaking anyway. How many kills do we have? 8 kills, 6 kills, 1 kill. One fucking kill. Yeah, yeah, right, one kill. Okay, room two. Okay. One fucking kill. I need to run away now, my general, because we're getting done in over there. Still got most of my cavalry, my infantry's been fucking eviscerated, my general's getting chased off the field. Yeah, so it looks like none of the excuses accounted for what was going on. Fucking none of them. All of the excuses were fucking made up bullshit. Every single one of those fucking excuses were nonsense. And it was so fucking obvious the whole time, people didn't even launch the game and test it to see if that was actually the cause. So none of your excuses were sufficient to explain why Rome 2 was such an embarrassing fucking shit game in that video. Because it's an embarrassing fucking even shittier game right now, when I have an even better test where I'm using fucking cavalry. I didn't even lead with my fucking best hand. I could have- I, I was being really fucking charitable towards Rome 2. Obviously I'm not going to throw my hardest punch first. This is Rome 2. This is the game that there's no limits to how shit it can be exposed as being because everything about it is fucking shit. So yeah, I was only getting started. Even when you bring fucking cavalry and you get off loads of amazing charges, you have units that have 9 kills after 5 fucking charges. 20 kills, 26 kills, 9 kills, 18 kills, this is the best one. And I think that unit was charging Hastati. Why the fuck did I bother? Why did I bother? Rome 2 is so fucking shit. My god, what a fucking terrible game. There's no point even trying. Was that was that better or worse than last time? Look, they have everything still fucking alive. Everything's still alive. I've got to just throw everything into the melee. At this point, there's no point even trying anymore because we can't actually get any more kills. Because their army, most of their men have most of their hit points left and there's no weak points that I can even hit to cause damage, to cause kills. There's nothing I can do here. I'd be lucky if I could get another 5 kills with this fucking unit. I'd be fucking lucky. 80 men, alright, let's see if I can hit the weak one with 80 men and actually get kills. Wavering. Gonna route first. 80 kill, 80 men. 3 kills, we got 3 kills there. 4 kills. And if we charged any of these units that have 150 men, 130 men, we would have gotten no kills. Alright, let's see how well we did. Is that worse than last time? Is that fucking worse? 17 kills against legionaries. That's not elite infantry. Look, all of their their entire army is still alive. It was fucking worse than last time. Worse. Oh my god. So, we didn't use gladiators. We used actual cavalry as the hammer. We were not fighting Praetorians, elite Roman infantry. We were fighting middling Roman infantry, legionary cohorts. We had even more defensive infantry. Our line was wider, so they weren't blobbing in two units on one, which is something people complained about. At least they couldn't do that. That fight lasted a long time, but it made no difference because guess what? Cavalry in Rome 2 is fucking pathetic, just like it is in... Warhammer. And I think that concludes the first part of the test. Time to go on to the next segment. The Rome 1 counterpart and see how Rome 1 handles this situation. A direct side-by-side -side comparison. Alright, we're in Rome 1 and we're gonna repeat the test. Let's see how this goes. Julii against Brutei. We're gonna do something similar to what we did for the Rome 2 test. We are gonna, and also to the first test, we're going to repeat the Legionary First Cohorts. We're going to bring Equites. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're up against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 unit of Principes and 11 Urbans. So the excuse that people gave for the infantry not breaking in Rome 2 was that they were elite. Guess what? We're going to break Elite Infantry in Rome 1. 
with cavalry. They don't break in room 2, let's see if they break in room 1. Remember, I did it last time with gladiators, so... Pff. I think we're ready. I don't think we need to do anything else. Let's do this for a minute. Very hard difficulty. Grassy flatland. Make myself defending. So they come to us. So they're still going to be aggressive and push on me. I'm not going to have any room to breathe. Let's see how Rome 1 handles this situation. Let's go. Got fog. It's not a problem. Make a line. And I'm going to take some liberties. I'm going to be using Testudo. Make two groups of cavalry. One on the left. One on the right. And I'm going to be trying to get my cavalry around and break them from the flanks. Think I can do it? I think I can do it. Let them come. Let them come. And it's raining too. Oh man, weather. Something you don't see much in New Total War. Weather effects. By the way, if you use Testudo in Rome 2, it does almost nothing. It makes no difference. It doesn't affect how the units fight. And this one it does though, it completely changes the unit behaviour. It's funny how much of a difference that makes in Rome 1. If the unit behaviour changes, it completely changes the fight. Whereas in Rome 2, it doesn't matter because it still all comes down to the numbers when they hit each other and start attritioning each other. It's pretty tragic really. Alright, let's fast forward this. I want to get into this and start doing my thing. Because it makes a difference in this game when I do my thing. Like, I, I actually feel like I have control and agency and like I'm making a fucking difference. Let's start moving cavalry real aggressively. Let's send one out wide. Uh, and on this side, I'm going to send this one out really wide and then into the middle. Let's get these engaged. Yeah, I'm going for angles now. Let's get these angles going. And see how much more resilient my formation is because it's guard moded into pseudo. See how much of a difference it makes. Come on. See how they have to actually get around the unit because it, it takes up space. It has dimensions. Eager. Steady. I need to go back in for another charge. I need to get all of this around. And I'm going for another charge. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, what happened there with that charge? Let's get these charges in. I'm gonna come out of guard mode. I'm gonna charge into that unit as it stands. Pad out the numbers for the charge. We have units routing already over there. We're completely enveloping these units here. And they are fucked. Breaking them everywhere. Yep, they're shaking. I need to keep going here. Yep, we're routing them everywhere pretty much. This could be a lot cleaner, but it doesn't even need to be. Keep the charge. Oh, I just got hit by my charge on contact there. Get out the formation there. Get them into the melee. Yeah, we're demolishing them. Is this even close? And then this here. I need to free up this unit. When they're blobbed like this, it's fine. Wavering, they're gonna route. On contact, yep they have. It's funny how much of a difference it actually makes when I take action that's planned and meaningful like this. I can just let them charge into the Tesudo there. This unit is still holding out, look at that. I'm breaking out formation. Gonna just charge, not even gonna bother with the Pila. 
Uh, I should just charge them now while they're wavering. They're wavering even though they're elite. And even though we're on very hard. And they've routed. Gotta get all of these into the melee here. Chasing the routers over there. Yeah, they're gonna route. They should route really quickly. That's the general, the last one. Yeah, they're getting wrecked. Every single charge that we do makes a big difference. Whereas in Rome 2, charging feels like you're just throwing... What was it that that guy said? Like throwing a lump of wet clay at a wall or something? <laughs> I thought that was great. Exactly. Why even fucking bother? It means nothing. It's embarrassing shit. Kill him then, kill him. The whole army will break when he dies. Yeah, kill him. He's dead. And now they'll break. Broken. There's one of the last units, just get into the melee. How much have we even lost? 30%. Fucking 30%. 30%. What do they have left? That shit over there. Come on, just peeler them then. Just peeler them. Hit them with peeler. They're gonna route though. Any second, I think. Yeah. The enemies show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Even easier that time. The gods have favored you. The enemy are destroyed. Your victory is complete! Yeah, so in addition to flanking and tactics not mattering, in Rome 2 entire groups of units are just impotent and worthless. So what's the new excuse going to be? Can't wait to hear it. For people that wish to support my work, I have a Patreon page. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington, The Rode 451, Halcyon, and Robert Sparks.